Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to display ads in, in your MIT App Inventor app. So over here we are going to use Google Ad Mop which we will integrate into MIT App Inventor using an extension and we can show ads in any app. So as you can see this is the Rubik's Cube app which I made earlier that you can also watch the tutorial it is in the description below. So if I click on shuffle cube, you can see that the cube is shuffled. Now if you wait for some time, you will be able to see an ad at the top. As you can see, it shows test ad. So I now I have just choose to show a test ad. But if you uncheck the test ad box, you can also sh show real ads over here using Google ad mob. And you can also earn money using this. So also when you click on this, you will be able to go to the ads website. Now currently it is the Google's website because this is just a test app and by the way this is absolutely free and you can earn money using MIT App Inventor by creating apps and games. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first, as I said before, we are going to use an ad mob extension using which we can monetize our app. So over here, uh, th this is a free extension. So first you need to download the ad mob SDK. So just click on this link and then you'll be able to download the extension. Now you need to open your app for which you are going to put the ad. So in this case, I'm going to put a banner ad in this Rubik's Cube app, which I showed you earlier. So you can put this for any app you want, which you have created. So by the way, if you want to create the Rubik's Cube app, the tutorial link is in the description below. Now let us go to the extension over here and we are going to import the extension which we downloaded. Now you will not be able to see any extension, but I'm able to see Rubik's Cube extension because this is the Rubik's Cube app you'll be able to see this empty so now I'm just going to anyways let's let's just click on import extension and we are going to choose the AIX file now you'll be able to see the ad mob SDK extension so we are just going to drag and drop it over here next we need to show the ad in some arrangement or some layout so for that let's go to layout and I'm going to use horizontal arrangement you can put it anywhere in the app I'm just going to put it at the top so that the ad is visible at the top of the app next I'm going to increase the width to be fill parent of this horizontal arrangement like this next we are going to create our own XML extension so that we can show the ad over here in this app so don't worry this is very easy to do so to do that you, you need to go to the extension link again so this is in the description below and this is the same link using which you downloaded the SDK extension, the AIX file. So you can scroll down and you'll be able to see some steps over here. So you uh, first you need to go to this link ide.neutron.com. After you go, you'll be able to see something like this and you can just continue with your Google account to log in. Now in the dashboard, you'll be able to see there are many options. Click on extension IDE. Now you need to click on create a new project and now you can just put any project name. I'm just going to copy the same project name which is Rubik's Cube app and I'm going to paste it here. Again the package name can be anything like com dot and you can just put anything you want. Next you don't need to enter these if you want you can and next I'm going to click on continue and now you will be able to see some code like this. So now what we are going to do is the next step is to tap on uh, we already created the project and we are going to add this import to the code so we are just importing some components so let me just copy this and we are going to put it over here in the imports the next step is to copy this and after the user's permission this line we are going to paste it over here like this and then if you just go over here you'll be able to see that there is something called value and over here we are going to put your app ID so let me show you how you can get your app ID so next you need to sign up for Google ad mob so over here you can see the analytics and you can see how much money you generated and you can also link bank accounts so that you can just 
get money using MIT App Inventor. So you can also you'll be also able to see the app ID over in Google Ad Mob, which you can copy later and put it over here. So you can just click on sign up and now after you log in, you'll be able to see the Google Ad Mob homepage and then over here click on apps. Now click on view all apps and you'll be able to see this menu and now we are going to create a new app so click on add app and now it is an android app and now as you can see this app is not in the play store or in the app store so i'm just going to choose no and click on continue next i'm going to put the app name over here so again what i'm going to do is i'll go over here copy the app name and paste it over here like this click on add app next click on done over here you you can click on add add unit and as you can see there are different types of ads which you can use for your app so the first one is a banner which is a rectangular ad at the top or anywhere you want and then you can show a full page ad this is a rewarded ad for which you can reward the users with any features if they watch an ad and there are many other options so you can choose any of these and it is the same method for inserting these in MIT App Inventor. I'm just going to go with the simple banner app and over here you can put any unit name. I'm just again going to put the app's name and let's click on create add unit. Now after you create the add unit you'll be able to see some of these codes and there are two of these. So now we are going to use the app ID. So make sure you use the app ID and not the unit ID for this. So let's just copy the app ID like this. And then back in Niatron IDE, we are going to paste this. So over here in this line which we copied earlier, you can just scroll and in the value equal to, you need to paste the app ID which we copied like this. Now this is finished and we can compile the extension. So click on save and then you can click on compile extension. Now you can see that the extension is downloaded. Now back in MIT App Inventor, we are going to import the extension. So let me go to extension and click on import extension. Now as you can see that the extension is imported. I'm just going to bring it inside like this. And this is the extension which we will use to show the ad. Next what we will do is let's go to the ad mob extension website and we are going to download another extension. Now as you can see there are many types of ads which we saw earlier. Banner ad and rewarded ad and you can download any of these. So for example if you are using banner ad just click on this and you can just click on the link over here now you'll be able to download the extension like this again back in MIT app inventor click on import extension and then we are going to import the extension which we downloaded now as you as you can see it is imported now we are going to bring in the add mob banner extension and now over over here you can see the add unit ID so you can just go to the add mob website and then make sure you don't copy this ID now because this is the app ID. Now we are going to copy the add unit ID which is over here. And now in MIT app inventor let's paste it over here in the properties of the add mob banner extension. Now you'll be able to see an option called test mode. So if you check this box you'll be able to see you'll not be able to see an original ad. Instead you'll see a dummy ad or a test ad which will just appear at the top so when i showed you the demo at the beginning of this video i used test mode so if you uncheck this app you'll be able to see real apps real ads so now i'm just going to check this like this now let's go to the block section and over here in the block section what we will do is first we will go to the sdk extension and we are going to initialize the sdk when screen one is initializing so you can just go to the control I mean screen one and you can just bring in this when screen one dot initialize block but now I'm not going to use this because there is already a screen one initialize block over here which I use for the Rubik's Cube app so you can just put it over here like this to initialize the SDK now after you initialize it when when someone clicks on the button you need to show the ad first you need to load the ad so for that let's go to the ad mob banner this time and you'll be able to see the load banner so we are going to bring it over here and the ad size is going to be you can put any size you want so this is the banner size which is the normal size 
you can also put the large banner size or the medium or you can put the full screen banner size i'm just going to go with the normal banner size like this next after you load the banner what we will do is we need to show the banner so let's go to the extension again and we are going to bring this block when add more banner one dot add loaded so after it is loaded we can show the ad so let's bring in this block and add add more ban banner one dot show banner and we are going to show it in the horizontal arrangement which we imported before so scroll down at the bottom and you you are going to bring in this block and this block is to say which component we are going to show the ad and now the app is over and this is very easy to create your own ad mob and show ads now to test the app make sure you don't use the connect ai companion option because i have tested it and it doesn't work in the ai companion you can build the app into an apk or an aab and you can test the app so i'm just going to choose apk and i will build the app now over here you can see the rubik's cube app and you can just see the cube also so now i'm just going to click on this button and now let's wait for some time and now you can see the test ad at the top so before releasing this app make sure you uncheck the test mode so that the app shows real ads in the mobile if you can't see your ad or if you can't even see the test ad there are many reasons for this which you can easily fix so first of all if you created your ad mob account recently you need to wait at least 24 hours after after which you'll be able to see the ad in the mobile so if you haven't done that you can wait and then test it after 24 hours but if it still doesn't work you can see that but in rare cases it can take up to two weeks and if your app or ad unit is new you need to wait up to one hour after you create the app or the ad unit and you can just read through this and find if any of these is a mistake and you can easily solve your problem for that next do you want to create a chat app using mit app inventor watch this video and also watch my full course of mit app inventor over here